our next stop was in Oklahoma City where we went to the Oklahoma City Zoo. It was awesome. We interviewed Kim. I have, I think, the coolest job in the world. <laughs> I am so lucky I get to work with every single animal in the zoo. That's over 1,400 animals. I'm always assessing, looking at, providing for, and making sure that they have a quality life. Uh, what reached out to you to want to work at the zoo? When I was five years old, I was able to have an interaction with an animal. It was a dolphin, and I was able to look that animal in the eye, and that was it for me. I wanted to dedicate my life to working with animals. As curator of behavioral husbandry and welfare, I get to watch animals and let them tell me what they need. Oh, wow. And this is where you really have to start thinking like a bear. So, <laughs> grizzly bears have an incredible foraging ability. They can smell food. And we are going to see how, basically how hard we can make it for them to find food. We want them to have to look for it just like they would um, if they were not in our care. So you guys can literally put it anywhere that you'd like. It's all about being creative. I spend a lot of time in the zoo. I spend a lot of time in front of animals, getting dirty and going, okay, what can I build? What can I provide? What can I do that stimulates this animal and gives this animal opportunities? So we have a sea lion pup by the name of Cash. <laughs> um, and we're gonna show you where training starts. So this is a toy of his. <laughs> This is very positive for him to be able to interact with you guys. He really is learning that strangers are not something to be afraid of and that new experiences can be fun. So that opens him up to other new experiences down the road. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, he's so precious. He feels so soft. <laughs> You're not crying, are you? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nah. <laughs> oh, I love seals, and I haven't had like contact with them like that close. And it was just probably one of the best moments of my life. I'm not gonna lie. One thing you find in this job in particular is every person finds their own path. So some people do go to college, but a lot of people don't. And even when you go to college, this job in particular, there's a huge apprenticeship. I have been doing animal behavior for 20 years and I will continue to learn for the next 20 years. Um, there really is a huge on the job training aspect that you can't get in a book. You have to go out and start doing it and learning and making mistakes um, and building upon it. This would be a pretty awesome job. Like, that seems like something I could do.